Hello, Mousebooks community. Uh, we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to make the perfect bookmark for a mouse book, at least the best one we've thought of so far, and we've tried a lot of different ones. So what you're gonna need to do is get yourself a mouse book, a scissors, and a length of string. We, you may have found a little dime bag like this with a, a pre-cut string in your envelope. If you didn't, you can get any string you want in the world, uh, and it will do just fine. So the first thing you do, Step one is to take the string out of the bag. And we pre-cut the string to be a, a, a little more than three lengths of the book. So this is about three and a half, that's good. Having a little bit extra is not bad. So what you want to do is open the book up to the middle where the two staples are. And the first knot is going to be right at the top of the book. You wanna keep the long string straight and the short string is gonna tie itself in a little slip knot around that string. Very simple, like the simplest knot in the world. Tie it like that. So now this string is straight and this little guy can slip down right to the top of the book perfectly, okay? So then the next thing you do is you just tie another knot to double it up right on top. Okay, that fixes that length so it can't move around. You take your scissors clip it, okay? Then you take the, the long bit and you wanna bring it past the edge of the book and then you can control the amount of extra tail that you want. I usually have about an inch. You just make a really simple knot again and just tighten it up and then cut it right on the far side of the knot. Just disregard that and you're done. Uh, this then is a string that can just kind of lay inside uh, the book. And a little known fact is that this is one of the reasons why we called it mouse books in the first place, because when the string is out, it looks like a little mouse that is like running away. Um, but anyway, uh, there you go. Bookmark for a mouse book.